Ingrid, Catherine, Chris. We got Rose. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome back. You're always right on time. Good morning, Ingrid. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Catherine, how about you? How are things going? I am okay. Okay. I am okay. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> great. Chris, how about you? I'm great, I think. A bit with uh, sleep. A little bit, a little bit. I see. Yes. I see. Good. But don't worry. Just drink a coffee and then you're going to be okay. With a coffee, no problem. No. no, because after my classes, I go to the bed again. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So remember that, uh, yeah, the, the expression, like uh, you can say, it, uh, how are you doing? Uh, or how are you doing? And also you can say, for example, how's, how's it going, right? How's it going is another question. Uh, how are things going, right? It's another one. How are things going? How are things going? Como están, como van las cosas, right? How are things going? Maybe you can say everything is okay, everything is fine. Yes. So just this too is like uh, when you refer to general things, or you can another question could be like how's is how's everything? How is everything? How's everything? Pretty good, right? With your family, is everything okay? Yes, everything is okay at work and angry are you working like from home right now or do you go to work to the place no i'm home working at home i see okay good mm -hmm. yeah now with this situation we had to work from home yeah yeah we wouldn't have any option okay yeah so there are many expressions like uh, how you doing how's it going how are things going or how's everything the most common one is could be like like this one. This is a little bit informal. What, what what's up? <laughs> this one is more colloquial. It's like uh like how would you say yeah, this in this? Uh yeah, like que hay, right? Que hay, something like that. Um, and then if you go a little bit uh, sorry that there's uh. They have an expression they say was cracking. Was cracking. This one is very um this is not formal at all. Informal. This is very informal. Informal expression. When you say hey, it was cracking. Actually, is the whole expression is like was uh let me see, was crack like was crackalacking. Yes, I think it's like this. Yeah. Was crackalacking. This is not very common. And it is not recommendable to use it when you said this one. What's crackalacking? Uh, especially to a girl, it's not very common to call it like that. Or sometimes they do, right? Do you have any idea about this one? No. No? 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 Mm -mm. Never? Rudy, no. do you have any idea about this expression? No. No? Okay. Yes. Uh, let me see. Someone else, uh, maybe. Uh, Rose, any idea about this expression? So you can ask, like, how are you doing? Mm, How's no. it going? No. How are things going? How's everything? What's up? Yeah, but yeah. sometimes <laughs> people use this one. It was crack a -lacking. But this is more, this is very, very informal. Like, for example, I have heard many expressions like when people, especially like friends, when they, uh, when they greet each other, they don't say, um, eh, hola, como estas, right? No, they say in another way. How would you say that, hola, como estas, or como te va, in a very informal way? How would you say that? Hi, what's up? Yeah, but WhatsApp is like more colloquial. Okay, a lot of people are coming. When you said um, WhatsApp is like colloquial. Colloquial is like a, a everyday speaking, right? Everyday speaking. Like, ¿qué onda? 
It's mm. normal. It's a little bit informal, yeah. but it's communication. But this is very informal. Mm -hmm. Any idea, Rudy? How would you say, ¿Cómo estás? In a very informal way. Mm -hmm. I like it. Uh -huh. What's crack a like in? Yeah, when you say, for example, que ondas is like a what's up, right? What, what's up? It, it, that way. And in a different way, how would you say that? How would you say, for example, que onda de una manera más informal? Yeah, you, 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 we need to know sometimes these things. Uh huh. No idea? No. No. Yeah, there are many expressions, right? Uh, sorry for the expressions. People say sometimes, hey, que, que pex, right? Right? Have you heard that expression? Or, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like a uh, mm. or I don't know, right? But this is more like with friends. It's, it's more with friends. But um, it's not formal, right? For example, in a, in a formal environment, like for example, at work, you cannot say, hey, what's crack liking? No, it's not right. It, maybe um, with your coworkers, maybe if you had the confidence, you can say it, but with friends, yes, you can, right? Since you have confidence. Okay, so let me go back to the room. So we have uh, everybody. Oh, we have Kenya. Welcome back, Kenya, Jinsi, and Karen. And can you turn on your, your camera, uh, Karen? We would like to meet you. So I got Karen. Uh, uh, Jensi is back. Jensi, I'm sorry, Karen. What is your full name, Karen? Morning. Good morning, Karen. My name is uh, Karen. And it says Martinez. All right, thank you. And then, uh, what do you do, Karen? What do you do? Means like uh, for for profession or occupation. What do you do? Okay, um, I'm a product uh, manager, Nexus. Okay, perfect. And and where do you live? In I live in San Salvador. Okay, and who do you live with? Do you live with your family, with Alon? Who do you live with? Um, with my husband. Okay, good. And what do you look, what do you like to do in your free time? What are your let's say your activities? Um, I walk with my uh, puppy. Puppy. Okay. What else? What other activities do you have? Um, I watch TV, movies, mm -hmm. series. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about on the weekends? When, uh, like, uh, what, what are your, like, uh, entertaining activities? Um, I'm real, um, only watch TV. <laughs> Only watch TV, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, so welcome, Karen. My name is uh, Giovanni Alexander Maldonado. You can call me Giovanni, Alex, so teacher, no problem, right? Yes, you can call me okay. in many three, like in three different ways. Uh, sorry that I couldn't send you the uh, the verb list yesterday because <laughs> my, my cell phone uh, broke is uh, my cell phone broke down, so it, I couldn't turn it on. So then I have to get another cell Excuse. phone. So excuses, excuses, excuses. <laughs> yeah, but I have it. And the idea is that we need to have a lot of vocabulary because we need to talk. And when we have expressions or we have vocabulary, so then we can communicate no no verbs no communication mm -hmm. yes in just mm -hmm. yesterday we were talking about daily routines right like activities that we do in the morning yes. in the afternoon right so and you need verbs and um today probably we're going to talk about the third person which is different a little bit different because you need to apply some rules when you speak in third person this is the most complicated part probably with uh with the simple present yesterday we talked about like uh 
let me see what's your casual like yeah this we have an expression here it's how do you pronounce this one let me see uh, a schedule. say it again Chris schedule okay good uh, let me see Jennifer say it no entiendo que es eso. Uh, yeah pronounce it just say it just say it like pronunciation G just pronounce it uh, okay uh, Shader. Thank you, no problem. Ingrid, say it. Schedule. Okay, Catherine. Schedule. Okay, uh, Gen Z. Schedule. Okay, great, thank you. Rudy. Shader. Uh, not a problem, thank you. Uh, let me see, Mr. Luna, give me that pronunciation. Okay, all right. Uh, Leo? Leo is here, yeah, yes, I think he is. Okay, Leo, go ahead. Leonel? Sure. 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 Okay, great, no problem. Yeah, the, the pronunciation of this one is you need to make a long sound like shh, then ske, and then shol. At the end, sounds like show, special, 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 right? Special, special, and special. What is the meaning of a special? Uh, let me see. Um, Kenya, any idea what is this special? What is the meaning of a special? Can you? No, no. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. I don't know the meaning. Uh, let me see, uh, Rudy, what, what does schedule mean? I, no idea. I, I don't have any idea, not a problem. Let me see, uh, uh, Lionel, tell us, what is it? Mm, mm, I don't know. Okay, not a problem. Uh, Gen Z, tell us, what is the schedule? Agenda, calendario. Okay, calendarium, sounds good. Yeah, but uh, when you said, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, like calendar, but in this case, it's like the time that you work. Yes, exactly, right? It's the time that you work or probably the time on your busy day. For example, my, my time, mm. I, I work from, from this time, from 6 a.m. and I finish at... At 9.30 p.m. So that's my schedule. So wow. I work from uh, from 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. Uh, you earn a lot of money. <laughs> uh, no, it's not a lot of money. Yeah. So I, I work like um, I have, let me see, that's my schedule. More I than work, 12 hours. Uh, basically, yes, more than, well, it depends. I have a space because I have two jobs. For example, when whenever you have this question, hey, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? It's like, como es tu horario de trabajo, right? Especially working. Oh, so then you can say, I work from 6 a.m. to 7.30. Uh, I have one class and then uh, from 8 to 6 p.m. I do my other job. So I, I work from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then I have another class from 7 to 8.30 and then from 8.30 to 9.30. So that's my schedule. That's my schedule. That's how my schedule like. So um, the question is, like for example, like uh, Ingrid, what's your schedule like? I work from... 6 30 p.m. a.m. to 4 p.m. but in pandemic I work to 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. So you work from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the pandemic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the pandemic I, I just schedule. Okay, yes. It's 
it's a better or I think it's a little bit better, right? So you work less, but it's okay. Yeah, but uh, this pandemic is not okay. So th then you can say I work from from 6 a.m. to or from uh, 2 p.m. to right desde hasta right. So that's your schedule, like yes. And what are your? Let me see. Another question could be. Uh, What are your work activities? Good. Oh, let me change it here. What are your work uh, duties? Duties? Any idea with duties, Catherine? What, it, what, what, does, what does duties mean? What is the meaning of duties? What are your know. work duties? I don't know duties. Duties, not a problem. Uh, Karen, what is duties? A duty, the, the call of duty is a video game, but in this case it's different. <laughs> uh huh. No, Karen. Do this. Any idea with do this? No. I don't. Activities. <laughs> okay, not a problem. When you said, uh, for example, do this. When you said the word duties means responsibilities. Responsibilities. For example, we work okay. in different areas. So we have different duties. For example, we so, as yes. Where, uh, what is the difference with duty? What do you mean? Duties with yes. with what? Pero con duty, D U T Y. Ah, okay. Uh, singular and plural. Duty uh, only one, right? Singular. But we change this one for this one and this duties, plural, activities, a lot of activities. Mm. But duties just one, but duties is like a lot of. So okay. what are your work duties? So we all have a lot of activities at work and different activities. For example, if we, if you ask, for example, the teachers, like, for example, like uh, Gen Z, uh, Ingrid, our activities are different, right? We need to prepare classes, we need to evaluate, we need to send reports, we need to give classes, we need to talk to uh, students, many things. And then if you ask, for example, like uh, Medardo, Luna, so the activities are different. If you ask Celia, the activities, the duties are totally different, right? Yes, so we all have, we're gonna work on this. Like, what's your schedule like? What are your work activities? We have two questions that we're gonna work. What's your schedule like? Uh, so if I ask, for example, Celia, what's your schedule like? Schedule. Uh huh. I work from eight to six o'clock. Six six p.m. Six p.m. Okay. And and what are your work duties? What are your work duties? I I am um, duties and operation. Um, you can say, for example, my duties are. My duties are um, control KPIs. Okay. And relationship clients. Clients relationship, okay. Relationship. What else? Uh, I am. Um, my duties are. ¿Cómo se diría resultados financieros? Financial results. I work on the financial results. Or financial results. Res yeah, you can normally normally you can say results, right? Or you can say like outcomes. Outcomes okay. is the same, right? Results or outcomes. Outcomes means resultados. The outcomes. What is the outcome of this uh, investment? The outcome. Good. So my duties are, I, you know, remember the activities. For example, Catherine, where do you work, Catherine? 
Where yeah. do you work? In the restaurant. In a restaurant. Okay, good. So then, uh, what's your schedule like at the restaurant? My schedule like um, <clears throat> is um, before the pandemic, I work from in different schedules. But okay. the, the, I, el más común. <laughs> the most common? Uh -huh. The most common is I work from uh, 11 a.m. to mm -hmm. uh, to the 6, 6 p.m. Okay. So I work from 11 to 6 p.m. Yes. So we're going to practice just ba basic, just three basic sentences or questions like what do you work, what's your schedule like, and what are your duties before we move into something else. And and, and also I'm going to send you, um, I have a list of birds that we're going to practice right now, and then um, we're going to do some activities. I'm going to send you, uh, we're going to work in pairs with these three questions, and then I'm going to send you a list of birds, and we will try to memorize the first, uh, let's say, let, we're going to work with the first 50 birds to see if we can memorize or how many we can remember. Like, let me see if I can show you those. Uh, I got it right here. Okay. I have this list. I'm, I'm going to send it to you and we will try to practice in, in pairs to see like how many we can remember. Uh, for example, we have, we're going to work with the first, let's say at the first uh, 50 because there are some, some verbs that you already know, but we'll try to work with the first 50. So in, in total, you have here like 75, I think, but we're gonna work with the first, um, like the first 45, 45 verbs, the first 45, the first page. So for example, I have uh, the verb, let me see one verb that I have here. It's, uh, well, these are the very common ones. For example, when I said uh, brush, the bird brush. brush, Aldo. What does brush mean? Um, lavar or cepillar. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yes. And uh, what about, for example, if I say the verb? Uh, let me see. Um, Lionel uh, learned. Lionel. I don't know. Just I don't know. Okay. Learned. Good. Learned. A rose, what is learned? The meaning of learned. Um, it's aprender, uh, yes. Yeah, it's aprender. That's what we're going to do, right? We're going to work in pairs. Vamos a tratar de memorizar lo más que podamos de los primeros 45 verbos, right? We're going to work in pairs. We can do it like vice versa. For example, I can ask Gen Z. Okay, Gen Z, uh, let me see. Uh, start. What's the meaning of a start? Empezar. Okay. Uh, let me see. Understand. Jensi? Entender. Okay. Encontrar. Now the opposite. Mm -hmm. Encontrar. I don't know. Okay. Fine. It's, it's fine. Yes. So you have here. In the first line, you have the English. And on the last line, you have the meaning, right? So that's what we're going to do, mm -hmm. right? First, we practice, like, for example, uh, let me see. Let me go over here. It says, like, go, ir, right? Work, yeah, trabajar. Play, jugar. Cook, cocinar. Eat, comer, right? And so on and so on with the first five. And then we practice. We will, we will have to memorize. Después de practicarlos, tiene que hacer como, tiene que retar a su compañero, preguntarle, okay, uh, let me see, I will say, uh, okay, eh, 
think. What is the meaning of think? Uh, correr. No. Uh, it's uh, caminar. No. Think. Oh, pensar. Yes, good. And we continue. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group and then we can watch it because we need to practice and then we go back to the, um, to the class. Just give me one moment here. I think I'm going to do it manually since we are 14. Uh, nah, it's okay. We're going to do like seven and so we're two work. Here we go. You need to accept the invitation now. It's ready on your cell phone. But uh, let me see. Yeah. But we have Gen Z twice. Gen Z? All right, <laughs> all right, there you go, yes. So, because I have Gen Z twice, Gen Z is with uh, Chris and also with Aldo. Uh -huh. So, let, let me check that information. I'm gonna send Aldo to you. Okay, just give me one moment. Okay. So, Aldo is like, okay, a, a, is like um, isolated. Sounds like that <laughs> right now, right? Good, let me send it to you. <laughs>
hasta, ¿cómo se diría hasta? Es tú, es porque es a, de, de 10 a. Sería ten a, así. Ah, pues no, pero es tú. Te, tú. Oh, pero, pero, tú. I work from 10 a.m. to, ten, no sé cuál es. Cinco Five. y media, ¿cómo se dice vos? Five thirty. Ajá, ni yo. Five thirty. Five thirty. Five thirty. Ah, ok, entonces. Five thirty. Five thirty. Thirty, yes. Ok. Five thirty. What are your work duties? Uh, what are your work duties? The activities that you really do at work. Uh, for example, uh, Kenya, where do you work? Kenya, where do you work? Um, I work in... I work in Atento. I work in Atento. Okay, good. What are your duties? What are your responsibilities? So maybe you can say I, I call customers or I receive calls or I provide solutions. Um, yeah, a lot of activities. I don't know the activities that you have. Yes, in Merino, where do you work? I work in a tent. You work in a tent too? Okay, so you have a lot of activities, right? So probably you have similar, do you work in the same account? Mm, no? my, my duties are este, at, atención al cliente. Este, Customer service. Este, ah, pero ahí so, es, por, es chat. Ahí. Okay, so I, I, I chat with my customers. Uh -huh. I chat with my customers, I send emails, I check emails, uh, I provide yes. solution. Okay, yes, a lot of activities. What are your activities? Go ahead, you need to practice. And then after you practice, can you see the verb list? Pueden yes. verlo. Okay, so you need to practice the first page, the first page, the first 45. So you need to practice like English and Spanish or vice versa, Spanish and English. Right now, the idea is to memorize. Okay? Yes. Okay, great, continue. Okay. Vale. Entonces, si quieres, empezamos ya con los verbos. Okay, go yeah, ahead. Um, what's your schedule like? I work from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. What are your work duties? My duties are evaluate exam, prepare the class, and prepare the, um, exams too. Okay. Okay. And now, Ingrid, you can ask Jennifer the opposite. Now you need to ask Jennifer and with the same questions, and then we move with the verbs that so we need to memorize the uh, at least, a, I don't know, maybe the half, probably we won't be able to memorize all of them, but at least the half of the verbs. Okay. Spanish and English. English is Spanish. Okay, okay, continue. What's your, um, where do you work, Jenny? Hi. Hi. Finish. Hi. Hi. 
finish yes. no with the questions okay now the question, you... yeah okay <laughs> okay no, don't worry no, now you had to work with the verbs remember the verbs okay so now we can see uh rose face right normally she has the the, the camera off okay so rose with Catherine, you need to practice the verbs, like, for example, from English, Spanish, Spanish, English, or vice versa. If, for example, I can tell you like a fine. What is the meaning of fine? Uh, Catherine, I will tell you in English. Okay, wash and wash. Uh, let me see. Uh, come. Come, the venir. Okay, good. And now the opposite, Rose. Uh, let me see. Uh, ir. Uh, go. Okay. Uh, eh, comprar. Buy. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, estudiar. Uh, study. Okay. There you go, right? Vice versa. First, English, Spanish, and then Spanish, English. Okay. Continue working. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hello, Rudy. Hola. Yeah, what happened? You got uh, disconnected? Sí, sí. Okay, that means you were working with Celia, right? Yes. Okay, so I sent you with Celia again. You can uh, accept the invitation again and then you're going to continue working with her. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
get give red set. Karen and, and Mr. Luna, did you memorize the verbs already? Yes. 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 Okay, great. Okay, let me let me ask you then. Uh, let me see, for example. Uh, okay, Mr. Luna, here we go. Um, let me give you one verb. Uh, it's going to be speak. Speak. Uh -huh. The mean is um, hablar. Okay, um, walk. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. Uh huh. Yeah. Walk. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to memorize. You need to know how to use walk. Uh huh. Okay, all right. And uh, for example, how do you say, for example, let me see, spend? Spend is a uh, gastar. Okay. Um, let me see. Start. Empezar. Okay. Um, let me see. Write. Escribir. Need. Necesitar. Understand. Entender. Think. Pensar. Okay, uh, brush. Eh, cepillar. Try. Intentar. Okay, thank you. Karen, here we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, Karen, lavar. Wash. Okay, nadar. Swim. Caminar. Walk. Conversar. Talk. Uh, talk, yeah. Talk, uh, talk. Yeah, okay. yes. Aprender. Learn. Venir. Uh, come. Okay. Gustar. Like. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, recordar. Remember. Uh -huh. Mirar. Uh, look. Okay. Or see. Uh -huh. uh, look. Okay. Dar. Uh, give. Okay. Observar. Ver, observar. Uh, watch. Watch. Yes, it's correct. Yeah. Good. So, but we need to have verbs and then we're going to go and practice. I'm going to call you in a moment and then we're going to go back to the class in one moment. Okay. Just give me a moment. Okay. Hi. Hello, Catherine. Finish. Hello. Yes. Okay. Great. Yes. So let, let's see. I'm going to call the rest and then we're going to do something. Because we need to work with a negative, okay. uh, the negative also. We need to make the uh, the negative whenever you have positive. So then we got negative sentences. Just give me a second. Let me extend it. Okay, everybody's coming. Yes. Good. Did you memorize the verbs? Yeah, that's easy, right? Uh, the yeah. verbs are not difficult, right? These are very common verbs that we have to understand. Like, for example, Catherine, look. What's the meaning of look? Ever. Take. Tomar. Learned. Aprender. 
get. Obtener, get. Okay, uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, live. Live. Hi. <laughs> Ay, uh, ay, se me olvidó. Perdón. All right. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Chris, uh, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, intentar. Try. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, despertar. Wake up. Eh, let me see. Cepillar. Fresh. Poder. Voy a abrir su Biblia de nuevo en 1 Corintios capítulo 9. There you go, of course. Amen. <laughs> Hay mucho que decir. Of course, a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> okay, yes. Like that. Like uh -huh. that, right? Okay, so your, your dad is preaching? <laughs> preaching? Is he preaching? Preaching? No? Preaching? No. You know what is preach? No. To preach is like a, the yeah. pastors, pastors, yeah, the pastors are ah, preaching. Ah, like pray. Yeah, but but pray ah. is like, is the action that you, you pray to God, right? Pray things, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but preach mm -hmm. is like the pastor, right? A lot of people in front and they start like talking, right? Mm. Mm. Ah, okay, okay. Predicar, mm -hmm. right? Predicar. Mm -hmm. All right, go to Corinthians, page number, yes. Good, you, we have to believe in God, of course, right? Even, even yes. the, the, the devil of, yeah, even the devil of the devil believe in God. So then we all have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Yes, uh, um, the idea was to practice some common verbs, and uh, those are very easy verbs. Well, not easy, but... Uh, you need to use them because those are and like the most common verbs. The most common verbs in English, exactly, right? Day by day, you're gonna you're gonna come across with this verb, and sometimes you're gonna have verbs with a lot of meanings. Like for example, yesterday we talked about the verb get. This verb has a lot mm -hmm. of meanings, right? What is the meaning of of, of get? Uh, this one could be like. Uh, obtain. It's like a obtain, obtain. Similar like obtain. Similar like a have. Arrive. Mm. Yes. Similar like have. Similar like buy. Okay. Similar like uh, uh, received. Uh, let me see. Uh, another one is like uh, what? It has a lot of meanings. Obtain, arrive, yes. have have and receive and buy uh let me see let me see uh it also means like uh understand understand depending the meaning depending the context for example when you say obtain it's like uh, you can say uh i i i will get for example uh i you can say that i i get a, a job right obtengo un trabajo obtuve un trabajo right get a job and if you say arrive, so then you can say it, uh, I, I get home. Mm -hmm. I get home at uh, 9 p.m., right? So it means I arrive home, I get home. It's another meaning. If you say, for example, uh, with the verb have, so you can say, for example, uh, you, you gotta. In this case, you mm -hmm. can say you got, which is the past of get. You got a car, right? You have a car. Is the same. If you say, mm -hmm. for example, buy, you can say it. Um, I, 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 you can say. Let me grab it here. I need to, I need to get. Uh, I need to get some groceries. Some groceries. What are mm -hmm. groceries? And then, do, do, don't. Sometimes, don't think in Spanish. Think in English, right? Some people say, ah, uh, groceries, uh, groceries, groceries, no, no, right? no, no, it's no, not, it's right? the thing that you buy in the market, for example. Exactly. Yeah. When you go to Super Selectos, Walmart, you know, all the things that you need for your house, those are groceries, right? I need to get means I need to buy some groceries. And uh, for example, um, 
it's like a, I, I, you can say, I get your message. I get your message means I, I received, recibí tu mensaje. Yes. Or for example, someone's going to say, sorry, but uh, uh, I don't get it. Get it, right? When you say, I didn't understand. It's like, I don't understand. Sorry, I don't mm. understand. It's like, I don't get it. Okay, do you understand? Yes, I get it. I get it means I understand. So this bird has a lot of meanings, a lot of meanings. Let me raise it, good. Because uh, sure. I sent you, uh, let me see, uh, on your book, you can find positive and negative. Like for example, right now we're gonna practice just with uh, I, we, you, they, right? Not their person. For example, you can say that uh, I, I cook breakfast every, um, every day. Okay, good. Alex. Yes. I want to go to the restroom. Sure, not, of course, not a problem. Take okay, your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we have here positive. You say, I cook breakfast. What would be the negative? I don't cook breakfast. Exactly. So normally you just put a, a, in, in negative. You say, I do don't. not cook breakfast. <laughs> But uh, when we speak, remember that every time that you speak in English, you need to make contractions. What is a contraction? Means that do and not together. So you put it together and it sounds like uh, like this. And, and yeah, it's like, don't. I don't, don't cook breakfast. Good. I cook breakfast, negative. I don't cook breakfast. Uh, maybe you, you, another one, for example, we can say it. Uh, we have a pet, okay? This is positive. What will be the negative? The negative will be we do not, or the, we say the contraction, uh, we don't have a pet. We don't have a pet. We don't have a pet. For example, let me see, uh, I would say like uh, uh, angry, angry, angry. How do you write it like this? Angry? Ingrid, all right. Ingrid and, uh, and let me see, and uh, Aldo have money. Okay, Ingrid and Aldo, they have money. What will be the negative? The negative? They aren't have a money. Okay, thank you. Let me double check. They aren't have money. Okay, Aldo. Okay, I have this sentence, Aldo. I said, uh, um, Ingrid and Aldo have money. Positive. And the negative. What is the negative, Aldo? Again, repeat. They aren't have a money. They aren't have a money. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Lionel, is is that correct? Mm -hmm. Leonel, Leonel, is Leonel here? Oh, I think he's not. Okay, uh, Rudy, is that right? I said, Al Ingrid and Aldo have money. What will be the negative? Oh. Means no. They aren't have money. They aren't have money. Okay, good. Karen, is that correct? Yes. Um, and I, I want a, a question. I have a question. Sure. Let ask I, me. I have. I have a question. Okay, um, can I use haven't? Uh, in this case, um, uh, so in, 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 let's say in, in perfect tenses, you can, but in this case, a have is a verb. But when you have as an auxiliary, so then yes, but in this case, no. Solo lo puedo utilizar el haven't cuando está hablando de tiempos perfectos. Cuando usted dice, eh, no he, uh, no he salido de mi casa. I haven't, haven't. I haven't gone out. Entonces sí, cuando es un auxiliar. Pero en este caso es un verbo. Entonces uh, no se puede. Okay, we're going to go through that later. Yes. Who had a question? 
Another question? Celia, is this correct? They aren't have money. No, they don't have money. Exactly, right? Why? Because remember that are verb to be, am um, is are. El verbo to be ya es un verbo por sí solo. El verbo to be, am, um, is, are, ya es un verbo. Y tengo otro verbo, have. Entonces, no pueden ir dos verbos conjugados en, en, en la misma oración. Present. Exacto, mm -hmm. right? En este caso, el auxiliar para hacerlo negativo es el do y el not, like do not. Entonces, mm -hmm. hacemos la, la contracción del do y el not, and then we say don't. They don't have money. They don't. Like, I don't, you don't, they don't, we don't, right? The third person is different, but you need to uh, never verb to be with another verb. No se puede mezclar nunca el verbo to be con otro verbo, al menos que sea un tiempo progresivo. Entonces, sí. ING. Un, un ING, yes. But that's another, another topic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they don't have money. Like, for example, if, if I said, uh, uh, let me see, uh, you, let me see, you spend too much, too much money, for example, right? You spend too much money. You spend too much money. What will be the negative here, Mr. Luna? What is the negative? Uh, you, yeah, you don't spend too much money. Exactly, you don't, right? And then the verb, you don't spend too much money. Too much. You don't spend too much money. It's like that. Uh, let me let me give you another one. For example, if I said uh, uh, Jennifer, if I said, let me see, um, I run every day. What is the negative? Jennifer? Uh, I don't know. I don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said I run every day. I run every day. Mm -hmm. I run every day. Uh huh. What is the negative? This is positive. Now give me the negative. Uh, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't. I run every day. And repeat again. I don't. Mm -hmm. I run every day. Okay. Uh, you said, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't, I run. In this case, we, we don't need, uh, again, to say, you cannot repeat the I, I only know. like that, right? I don't run. I don't run every day. Yeah, I don't run every day. Okay. For example, let me see, uh, you can say, it, uh, uh, let me see, Ingrid, uh, I like tacos, negative. I don't like tacos. Okay, good. Uh, for example, let me see, uh, I would say that, uh, Gen Z, uh, let me see, uh, they write, uh, they write letters every day. Gen Z, they write letters every day. They don't write letters every day. Every day, they don't write, right? They don't write. Uh, yes, write. they don't, they don't <laughs> write. Write, exactly. They don't write. Write, yes. Write. And, and then we can create a lot of sentences with all the verbs and positive and negative. Like, uh, let me see. Uh, another one is, like, for example, uh, if we work on weekends. So what will be the negative, Aldo? We work on weekends. Negative? We are in work weekends. No. Okay. Remember, Aldo, that we cannot use verb to be with the verbs, with another verbs. Uh, let me uh, check. Okay. Uh huh. What is it? We don't. We uh, don't. Let me see. We yeah. don't. Uh huh. 
We okay, work good. on weekends. Negative? We we don't work weekends. On the weekend, exactly. Just look here, the, right? Oh, okay, okay. Don't like do not. Do not. Let me let me grab it here. When I say that uh, uh, don't, it's like um we work on yes. the weekend. Do right. and not do and not equal equal don't don't right don't don't mm. I don't you don't we don't uh, let, let me explain it here so we have uh, normally I also you and they so then uh, with this one when you need to make negative sentences, you need to have the auxiliary do and not and the verb, right? Um, we, don't, we don't like the structure. Yeah, it's like I, we, you, they. Do not and the verb. Uh, let me see, tortas. Tortas, Mexican tortas. Mexican tortas. Yes. For example, you can say, I don't like Mexican tortas, we don't like, you don't like, they don't like Mexican tortas, right? So always do and not is the negative. Like for example, uh, I would say that, what would be three things that you don't like? Chris, tell me three things that you don't like. I don't like milk. You don't like milk? Okay. No. I don't like the hot weather. Hot weather, okay. And I don't like, um, let me see. I don't like, um, mm -hmm. maybe, um, no, I think that only two, two things that I, that I don't, I don't like. Okay, maybe, right? It's like, I don't, you mm. don't, uh, we don't, they don't. For example, in my case, mm. personally, I don't like tortas. I hate tortas. For me, it's not, it's not food. Tortas. I don't like tortas. It's like terrible, it's terrible food. I don't like tortas. Uh, I don't like video games. I, I never play video games. I don't like video games. It's just, for me, it's a waste of time. Uh, and uh, let me see. Oh, I don't like tortillas. I don't like San Salvador tortillas are terrible. San Salvador tortillas are terrible. Yeah, so I don't like them. I don't like to. You, uh, you don't like either? Okay, good. Because uh, I, I'm from La Union. And in La Union, the tortillas are different. But here in San Salvador are like a very small and, and thick. So it's, it's terrible. No, I can't. I don't <laughs> like. Okay. So then you say don't, right? You don't. don't. We don't. don't. They don't. don't. Remember, I like do and not. So Aldo, this is the auxiliary. El El, el, el do y el not hacen la función de el no. No, me gustan las tortas mexicanas. Like, I don't. We don't. They don't. Right? And this is the function of the uh, auxiliary do. Now, let me see. Uh, I have uh, Jennifer, Medardo, Gen Z. Everybody's here. Okay, good. For example, let me see. Uh, I would say that Celia. Celia, for example, uh, uh, what if I said, we are hungry? What would be the negative? We are hungry. We don't have hungry. Okay, all right. Good, uh, remember that we need to understand the question. That's the part that we need to work on. So, okay. uh, thank you, uh, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. What will be, uh, is that correct, what she said? Ingrid. We aren't hungry. So I say, we are hungry. Okay. In this case, Zilia, el verbo we es aren't. el verbo to, to be. be. Okay, so then okay. we say, oh, negative is mm -hmm. like, we, we, uh, 
Let me see, we aren't, right? So I listen, we have, we have. We have, okay, yeah. Sometimes, have. yeah, sometimes uh, we have some expressions in Spanish, wow. but in English is different. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. aquí esto se traduce como eh, tenemos hambre. We are, we are hungry, pero en realidad, si usted lo traduce, nosotros somos hambre. Uh -huh. Pero, yeah, it's different. It's like, it's okay. like the age. Uno dice, I am, uh -huh. I am 29 years old. Pero en realidad usted está diciendo, tengo 29 años de edad, right? So it changes. So okay. in this case, it's like, we aren't hungry. We aren't hungry. Right? Okay. We're not. Not yet. We aren't. No. Are you hungry right now, everybody? Are you hungry? Yes. 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 Yeah? yes. <laughs> Pupusas are waiting for you? No? Yes. Uh, <laughs> bananas <laughs> with the beans. <laughs> Okay, of course. Bananas with beans? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ban bananas, the, the, the normal bananas? No. Uh, platanos. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh that, that is plantain. 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 plantain because plantain. bananas are the, the regular bananas that we eat with uh, maybe uh, uh, a lawn. It's like the fruit. But the, the plantain is like platano, right? So, okay. plantain, plantain, yes. Plantain. Plantain, yes. Good. So, for example, here you had the affirmative. Remember yesterday, I told you, right? I keep track. Negative is like, I don't keep track, right? You know the policies. The negative is like, you don't know the policies. You don't know the policies. Uh -huh. We have, we advertise the company, negative. We don't advertise we don't the company. Advertise. Yeah. They help companies. Advertise. Negative is like they don't help. They don't help. They don't help. Okay. And uh, for example, we have this one. Uh, how would you organize this one? We, I think we did it yesterday, but it, just said, it says uh, keep the company's track financial accounts of. How would you organize this sentence? How would you organize it, Jency? Organize the first sentence. They keep uh -huh. track. Mm -hmm. They keep track. Uh, financial accounts company. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Don't worry. It's okay. Uh, let me see. Celia, try. They keep company they keep that mm -hmm. company of a financial accounts okay good uh rudy rudy <laughs> they keep track uh -huh. financial accounts of company of company, okay, all right. Uh, let me see, Karen. They keep track. Um, final, final, finite. Um, how do you say final? Fi fi financial. 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 Financial accounts. Financial accounts of companies. Of companies. Okay, good. If we go back, for example, you can find all there here. It says, they keep, uh, I keep track of the financial account. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of similar. So first, we need to identify what is the subject, right? Okay. Everybody knows they. The and then the bird, they, they keep. And they, they keep track of... Uh huh. They Financial keep track accounts, companies. They keep track of the companies. Of the companies. Financial okay. Account. Well, in this case, it's uh, they keep track of keep companies' account. financial accounts. Of companies' the... financial accounts. In English, it's like the opposite. It's, it's like uh, you need to have like uh, the the noun and what belongs to this noun. For example, you can say that you know you can say. The, 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 the car of Rudy, 
el carro de Rudy, right? The car of Rudy is, is translation. It's, it's a bad translation, so it's not right. So then you can say uh, Rudy's car. Rudy's car. So in this case, is they keep track of companies' financial accounts. Yes. Now we go with uh, number two. Don't on internet the company advertise we. Uh, let me see, Jennifer. How would you organize this one? First, you need the subject, then you need the verb and the complement. And. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, don't on internet, the company advertise we. You need to identify the subject, the verb, the negative part, and the complement. In this case, yeah, the subject, negative verb, and we, the complement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We don't. Uh -huh. We don't advertise on internet the company ah uh, yes you are very close you're very close yeah thank you jennifer you were very close okay uh miss galan tell me <laughs> yeah okay help us we don't advertise the company on internet okay yes we don't advertise the company on the internet yes Jennifer, you were very close. Thank you. Aldo, next, number uh, three. Mm. I uh, every day I, knows in hey, the I, meeting state. I, I, take, I take notes every day in the meeting. I take notes every take day notes in the meeting. Okay. Every day in the meeting. Chris, thank you, Aldo. You uh, is that right, Chris? Mm -hmm. Number four. Uh huh. Oh, oh number three. Number three. And number three. I think is I take um. Let me see. I want to. Okay. I take notes. Uh, every day in the meeting. Okay. It sounds good. It sounds good, but it, it sounds better if you say. I take notes in the meetings every, in day. The meetings every day, right? Every what, day. Yeah. Normally, normally these uh, these expressions like every day, every week, every night, every hour goes at the end, normally, right? For example, okay. you can say I work every day, right? It's not common to say every day I work. Mm, I work. It's, it's not yes. very common. Or for example, you yes. can say that, um, Every weekend, I, I go to my house. Mm, it's not very common. It's, it's better to say, I go to my house every weekend. Every weekend. Okay. okay. So you can say, that, uh, every mm. night I exercise. Mm, it's better to say, I exercise every mm. night. Exercise every night. Yeah. So Excellent. The, the, every day goes at the end. So in this case, is I take notes in the meetings every day. Every day. Every day. And uh, the last one. Uh, let me see. The last one goes to, uh, let me see. Is Catherine here? No, right? Catherine. No, he said, she said that she had to leave that. Uh, yeah, she had to go to work, she said. And as well as, um, um, what's her name? Rose. It was Rose. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Rudy. Four. Finish it, Rudy. Mm. Phone answer answer were, there. Uh -huh. Carlos and Mauricio Arms were phone at the reception. Reception. Carlos and Mauricio? Arms were uh -huh. phone at the reception. Yeah, it's correct, right? Carlos and Mauricio, this one, oh. Let me explain you this. Some people will say, uh, answer, answer, okay? Answer. Yeah, but answer. in reality, answer. you just may like, like, and you just say, answer, answer, answer. 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 Yeah, answer. 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 And it's like uh, you eliminate the W, you don't say answer. where, 
You don't say oh, answer. answer. No, no answer. No answer is just answer. Answer. Answer, right? Answer. 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 Carlos and Mauricio answer phone in, at the reception, right? So that's the information. And uh, well, time is running. So tomorrow we're gonna work with the third person. As you can see, for example, I said, I make, you make, they make, but in the third person is the problem. Mañana es, va a ser muy crucial porque hablamos, hablaremos de las terceras personas que cambia. Los verbos cambian. For example, I make, but in the third person is she makes. makes. All right. For example, I can say I go to work, but he, he go to work. No, es he goes, he goes to work. Hay ciertas reglas que hay que seguir for tomorrow. Okay, so I will see okay. you tomorrow at the same time. Thank you, everybody, um, and have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye.